what are some other now that I'm giving you guys more and more details what are some other things I can do to expand my business now one thought process that comes to my mind is expanding on my kingdom partnerships right so let's go to the uh, my word doc my word doc so I'm gonna improve that main funnel I'm gonna share testimonies and I can share the testimonies in the funnel so that'll work so this isn't even adding more work to my workload right because the sharing the testimonies comes from the people they make the video they send it to me and then I send it to my editor and then my editor sends it back to me all I do is upload it it was already part of my process it doesn't take time away from expanding so remember remember whatever advice you're giving me it cannot create it cannot require more time it has to be already in the time that I've already allocated for what I'm already doing so the main funnel is YouTube how do I improve it share testimonies run ads I'm doing that right I have a budget for it so I'm running ads I'm doing um, 600 a month right now in ads and I'll probably increase that but I'm just kind of learning right now I'm working with my good kingdom friend Alex Albaran to help me with running ads so finally I will be a testimony not only for his organic strategies but also his paid advertising strategies okay so that'll be an even stronger relationship and then um, live workshops in person potentially but most likely online okay these do not take away time from what I'm already doing it just makes my time more efficient in those 50 hours a week that I'm I'm working on I don't have to compromise the time that I spend with my girlfriend I don't have to compromise the time that I spend with my family I don't have to compromise the time that I spend with my existing clients that have already paid me money and aren't giving me any more additional money right so I don't I, I, I don't have to sacrifice that which is great so live workshops in person uh, and then online what else guys help me out here what else can we do think real hard and trust me you're by you commenting God knows how many people you're helping I'm like what I didn't even think about that so let's see um, building my kingdom partnerships right so what are those kingdom partnerships so my most popular one is with IBC Global Incorporated owner Steve Parisi right kingdom guy I respect him a lot he has a powerful kingdom now here is something really interesting here's a good strategy put the camera back on me again real quick here's a good strategy for those who have a personality like mine so I personally I do not desire to be like a Grant Cardone like 10x till I die you know like me I want to 10x like two to three times maintain it keep growing right now this could be in a way very conflicting this is this is watch me watch how I talk You're like oh whoa wait a minute then you just got done talking about blah, 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 right all that you have to you have to help me watch how I'm talking and correct my language I could be falling into a what I could be limiting my gifts and not even knowing it I could have just convinced a bunch of you to Oh, you know, only 10x a couple times and then you're set for life and yada yada, you know, do your thing. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Is that according to my gift? Remember how I said earlier, my gift is bigger than me. My talents, my, uh, the, the blessings, the favor that God has anointed me with, say, right? It's bigger than me. So even when I go into, this is me thinking right now, just being totally honest and transparent I don't have a desire to be like a Jeff Bezos right 
or a uh, a Tony Robbins or a Grant Cardone, Dean Graciosi, just out there. I mean, like, I don't know how they do it. I haven't made sense of it. I don't know how Grant is able to make all these freaking videos, have a wife, two kids, business, all these. I haven't made sense of it yet. I'm like, what? Don't get it. So what I do in my little world, I try to make sense of my environment. And that could be destructing or destructive in and of itself, right? So that's my dilemma. That's why I hit the peak. I'm like, am I even at a peak, right? So these are the things that you're going to face from my, my kingdom citizens here, right? That are in the house. We got Victor, Albert. I saw Anthony. I saw Veronica, Diane, uh, Hugo, Jesus, right? Kev, um, Steve, Eric, right? You might be thinking the same freaking way. Like you, you get to a point, you're like, okay, I can stop. Whoa, wait a minute. Is it about you or is it about others? It's about we, it's about them, it's about us. You got to change that thinking. Don't let your gift die in the dirt. Don't die with a book inside of you. Don't die with a course inside of you. Don't die with an invention inside of you. The richest place on planet Earth is, in fact, the cemetery. Because that's where all dreams, goals, passions, love, desire, happiness goes to die at the cemetery. When you and I die, you better be empty. Empty. Your cup has been poured. It is empty. Nothing left. That's the best way to die. The best way to die is to just leave it all and give it all away. Don't, don't go to the grave with all your wealth. Don't do what the Egyptians did, right? They tried to figure that one out. Didn't work, okay? Don't do that. Don't copy that. So how do we do it, guys? So that's my, that's my dilemma. It's like, ah, oh, you know, I got this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But maybe there's a way that I can tag team with people who do think like Amazon, who do think like Apple, that do think like a Grant Cardone, like a Tony Robbins, right? And let me, let me go back into it here. Let me share my screen again. So going back to my uh, kingdom partnerships. So Steve Parisi, this guy thinks like Amazon, right? Thinks like Apple. All he does is puts all the information out there with full transparency. The customer can research everything. All the information is there. Everything. Do you think Amazon is bashing any other company? They don't have time for that crap. So what Steve does is he goes above and beyond his competition. He doesn't even pay attention to the competition. You know why? Because he understands how kingdoms work. He understands how business is to be done effectively. He simply dominates the market. So here we have someone who is dominating, right? He dominates the environment over which he is an expert in, which is the infinite banking concept. So I say, okay, since I'm 24, I don't have all the knowledge, I don't have all the resources, I don't have all the confidence just yet in that mentality. Let me wrap arms around someone who already has that mentality, that strength, that honor, that glory, that passion, that love, that desire, that abundance to dominate the market. One of the very first if you look at your constitution, or AKA the Bible, and you go to Genesis, it talks about how the king created his product, which was man. And he said, we're gonna create man in our image, in our likeness, and they are going to dominate. Dominate. It's part of your, your gene code. You can't extract it out. You can only shut it off, but it'll always be there. You can shut it off and ignore it, but it doesn't mean it's not there. 
just means not active, laying idle. So that's one of the strategies, right? Um, I can hook up with other kings and other queens that desire to do more. They have more than me. They want more than me. Because if I get around people like Steve and my friend Sebastian Boyer, my friend Alex Alboran, see if I get around kings like these guys, then it's only a matter of time before I drop that poor slave mentality of, oh, let me just 10x once and let me ride it out. Or let me just do this for a limited period of time. Or, you know, let me just, let me just manage what I have, which is important. But I don't want to close the window to more opportunities. I don't want to just close the door for me to continue to expand, right? Because if I do that, that's the day I start to die. That's the day I, I start to decay in my mind is when I pretend like I can't do something or I tell myself, you know, I don't want to do something because of this particular reason. 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 It's a different story if I say my desire is to be a father, raise children, and do this. So again, don't let me confuse too much of your mentality. I, wa I want to create a balance here. I, wanna, I do want to create a bit of a balance and also a challenging factor, right? Even if you don't 10x your income, hey, 2x isn't bad. Look, 280000 in my first year, now I'm at... 353,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's nothing to complain about. I'm already in the top 10% of the world, right? Of finances, financial uh, independence, right? Or, or income. Already in the top 10%, more than likely. Um, so it's important for us to, how do, we, how do we find that balance? How do we find that ethical approach and forgive me I hear the construction if you guys hear that in the background I will start to talk louder but um how do we not forfeit everything because of our lack of belief in something so if you're someone like myself you're debt free you're making really good money your credit's amazing your cash flow is fantastic right? You're giving, right? You're giving 10% or you're giving more, right? You've got a nonprofit. You've got so much going on. You want to ask yourself, is this it? You need to reach out to your king to make sure that you're in alignment, right? Is this how you want me to keep functioning? Am I in a time of expansion or am I in a time of management? Just, okay, we're going to manage this for a little while. And then we're going to expand. It's just like the stock market. When March hit, that was a time to buy. When everything dropped in value, like literally, like every stock dropped, that was a time to buy. That was a time to expand. That was a time to dominate. The market has literally did a V, right? It went wham, wham, right? So now is a time of management. Hold on. Don't sell, right? Receive the profit. So all I've been doing in my, in my Robinhood account, my TD Ameritrade, I've just been collecting on those profits, taking those dividends. Yep. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When the market drops again. You know, I'm assuming this election might have a role in that. Market tanks, no matter who becomes president, I think the market might just, you know, have a little, a little dip. It's going to be a time to snatch and grab more territory. Snatch and grab more territory, right? Manage, perfect, create the process, expand. I'm telling you right now, I am in a, I'm in a state of expansion. Right? My processes 
I believe are good. They just need to be more efficient. That's it. That's all I gotta do is just improve the efficiency, then I'll get there. Right? So I feel like and correct me if I'm wrong, help me out here. Let me know if you like this strategy of just partnering with um other other kings. I don't know what they doing down there. Boy, they're doing a lot of construction. I gotta I have a new uh neighbor coming in. So I think they're doing the floor. I've seen them. So let's see. IBC Global, Steve Parisi, Sebastian Boyer. So he does the business credit, right? He does the business funding. Okay, get you access to funding. Alex Aberan, that's that's sales and marketing, running ads, building funnels, creating products and services. Right? I, I think he specializes more with um, you know, like online digital products and services, coaches, consultants, gurus, things like that. So this, these are kingdom individuals that are running their own kingdoms. If I give to them and I partner with them, again, that does not take away from my time. So whatever money I make from Steve, from Sebastian, from Alex, right? from my friend Brittany Green, who does personal credit repair, right? As long as I, I latch on to these people, right? I'm building a relationship with this lady right here, Ashley Cheek, she does business plans, right? She'll write your business plan for you, that's important. Got another one here, Alexa Carlin, he teaches people how to uh, how to become a public speaker. All right, so she has a program. She has a kingdom. She has a big following. My kingdom aligns with her kingdom. She helps women. Right, her her predominant her predominant market is women women that want to start businesses. Right, and I deal with moms that want to be debt free, start a business, create something of their own, help their husbands out, because that's their role. All right, so, and they're tapping into that role, which is amazing. So if I get around these people and I create affiliate partnerships, I negotiate deals and I collect a percentage of the work that they do. So all I have to do is come back up here. All I gotta do is improve the funnel, right? If I improve the funnel, send the people that get in the funnel to these people, right? For the different services that you guys all ask me for and need, well then that, again, it increases my efficiency. It extends my arsenal of products and services that I can offer. The more products and services I'm able to offer, the better I can be um, of a loyal servant or a powerful king in both manners to you know um, create the income that I want to see continue to expand and the more income I make it it only positions me to get access to more information stronger people bigger authorities and it gives me the ability to give more period I just have to um, maintain principles.